And the process is very similar for that. So let's go up another level and in, we go up another level. And so in our Docker images directory, there is an Oracle web logic directory. Okay. And then inside of here, there's another subdirectory called Docker files. All these were kind of set up a little bit differently. Um, with Oracle web logic, there are multiple versions of web logic that are supported from 12.1.x up to 12.2. So the one that we're going to build um, is 12.2.1.3. And the build process for all these versions is identical. So you can see here that we have other dot .download files. You can see here that we have one for um, this one here is the full-blown uh, distribution of WebLogic. And then this file over here, the, the one that's got the word quick in it, is the quick installer. So if we take a look at the quick installer download file, it will have a link to where we can download that file. And that's that's right here. So I will have this link in the description for the video as well. So once you've downloaded that file, I want you to copy it to this working directory, okay? To the 12213 directory. Now what we need to do, go back up a level, and in the main, in the Docker files directory, I'll show you where I am on my system. So we have our Docker images uh, repository that we cloned. We're in the Oracle Web Logic, excuse me, Oracle Web Logic directory, and then within that, we're in the Docker files directory. Yeah. So if we want to build an Oracle Web Logic image, we just run the build Docker image.sh script, but it takes some parameters. So type a dash H for help after it, and it will tell you how to actually run the build script. This single build wrapper script um, supports all the different versions of WebLogic and in different modes and different distributions. So you can see here that we support uh, this build script supports the developer distribution, generic and infrastructure. Um, so we're going to be creating an image based on the developer distribution. And we can also specify the version here. This is very important. So the version has to match what we downloaded. So to build this, I'm going to do a build docker image sh dash V. And then the version is going to be 12.2.1.3 and dash D for the developer distribution. And that's all you'll need. So go ahead and run that command. So the build time can take a really long time depending on your system. Uh, you can see here mine took about uh, almost 10 minutes. So once it's done building, you can verify that the images it does exist. You just do a Docker images and this looks into your local repo and finds that there is an Oracle slash WebLogic repository. And you can see this is, has a certain tag to it and that it was created 35 seconds ago. So.